I probably talked too long, but let me now introduce and welcome Congressman Langevin um, with us and uh, appreciate all of his support for our efforts. And again, this building is such a, um, a difference in our ability to do our work, so we're so appreciative of that support. Sure. Well, Frank, first of all, thank you for having me here today. It's, it's great to be with you and everyone at Oregon Bill Housing and all the, part, the uh, different partner agencies that, that you work in, with. I know uh, Barbara Fields from Blisk is here and, and other, uh, other partners that support the work that you do in trying to uh, rebuild uh, this area one house at a time, one street at a time. And it is a real distinct honor for me to, uh, to welcome Secretary Sims here to Rhode Island. Secretary, I'm uh, very grateful that you took time out of your busy schedule of uh, all the things you can be doing uh, around the country or in Washington. You came here uh, to see the, the work that's being done right here on the ground. And, uh, and it uh, doesn't get any better than uh, coming to Omnibill and see how we're trying to reclaim this, uh, this neighborhood, rebuild this neighborhood into a real uh, uh, sustainable community. And, uh, You'll see some uh, real uh, highlights as, uh, as you go through it and see the different uh, uh, components of the work that's done here with Oneville Housing, including the work that they do with, with youth build uh, and training uh, our young people uh, into uh, to go and help go into a game for employment. So uh, and I'm thrilled that uh, uh, some of the, uh, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act money has been put to great use here uh, at this new, uh, this new facility. Uh, Rhode Island, unfortunately, has a second highest unemployment rate in the, in the country right now. It's not acceptable to me and my colleagues, and I know for everyone in this, in this room, and it is first and foremost on, uh, on my mind. Uh, it's why we passed American Recovery and Investment Act in the first place. Uh, as you know, the House of Representatives has passed the second uh, jobs bill uh, that will help to, to go further in creating new jobs. Uh, but uh, this place right here uh, received uh, $400,000 in CB, CBG money. Uh, and uh, that's just a, a testament to the types of work that uh, we had in mind when we approved, when we approved that, uh, that funding, and also money for uh, get the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, uh, and, and creating a, uh, as we created a federal grant program to the Department of Labor to train workers in uh, the renewable energy field, and also help uh, construction of energy efficient buildings, which is, uh, which is what we see here. So again, I would just want to take this opportunity to salute Ponyville Housing uh, and, and Youth Build for the work that they're doing in this community, but also the Secretary, Secretary to welcome you to Rhode Island. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, sir. It's been great being here today. The, uh, I am known for my frankness, um, and uh, so I, I need to say this. I, you know, when you look at the state of Rhode Island and you look at Congressman Langevin, you look at Congressman Kennedy, and Senators White House and Reid, it doesn't get any sweeter than that. Um, they're highly regarded and they're respected. And the key thing for us, and particularly for us, is we've been looking at what we call sustainability and, and livability uh, and housing. HUD is no longer, Secretary Donovan has made this clear, HUD is no longer a housing agency. We're in the community development business. And we've been asked by your delegation members and staff to, why don't we visit Rhode Island? I mean, they've been doing it right and doing it for a long time. And uh, I made a decision when I became Deputy Secretary of HUD that I would tour the country to see what other people were doing. I was the, very honored to be elected for three terms uh, as the King County Executive. I was actually running for a fourth term, and the president said to me, I know you're going to work for me, and I, I know the feeling. And, President asked you to work for him, and you just don't say no. Uh, but I was so glad to come to HUD. And the reason why is because of what's happening in places like Rhode Island, which is unique and cutting edge. The ability to break through silos. We're so used to government working in silos, where transportation's in one corner, and development's in another corner, and health's in another corner, and never the train shall meet. And yet you've been able to orchestrate that in, the, uh, in, in Rhode Island and in this community. And to look at Omniville, which is a community that needed the recovery, you can see that when you come here and actually see the recovery put in place. So that you see what we call, what we believe America needs, which is to both have improvements in neighborhoods, to see uh, equity housing, and also to see affordable housing in place. To come to a place where we saw really smart investment of CDBG money in this building, and to be able to see not only Omniville office here, but to be able to see Youth Build, which is a marvelous program creating jobs now for young people that will allow them what we call the skills they need for the rest of their lives.